Hi students welcome to today's class I hope all of you are healthy and happy So till now we have completed the first two chapters Europe in transition and from trade to power Today we are starting the third chapter resistance and the first war of independence Resistance means to fight against someone In this chapter we are going to discuss about the resistance of different sections of people against the rule of English East India Company which led to the first war of independence in 1857 With the success of Battle of Plassey in 1757 and Battle of Buxar in 1764 the entire bengal came under the rule of english east india company bengal is famous for producing different types of silks so there were many silk producers in bengal nagodas were prominent among them let's start this chapter with the story of nagodas nagodas were the sericulturist of bengal Weavers from various countries came to buy the silk they produced. When Bengal came under the rule of the English East India Company, the officials began to exploit the nagodas. They were compelled to do weaving for meager wages. They were made bonded laborers of the company, denying opportunity to seek any other means of livelihood. they were forced to live like slaves under the company the workers who were not willing to obey were tortured their properties were seized they collectively decided to give up their traditional occupation for it did not help them earn a living hence they decided to cut off their thumbs as a protest against the policies of English East India Company so this was the story of protest by nagodas against English East India Company this was not an isolated event the company rule adversely affected all the workers engaged in traditional occupations so Many protests occurred against English East India Company in different parts of India. Do you know who were exploited under the company rule? The farmers, weavers, craftsmen and tribals were exploited under the company rule. First, we will discuss about the exploitation against the farmers. With the subjugation of Bengal the attention of the company shifted to the rich agricultural sector of the region their aim was to exploit the maximum resources they adopted different strategies against the farmers let's check their strategies levied heavy taxes on farmers No tax concessions were sanctioned or given to farmers even when drought and flood destroyed the agriculture. Middlemen that is zamindars were assigned to the duty of collecting tax. The English East India Company imposed the condition that the tax was to be paid in the form of cash. The farmers had to depend on sahus the private money lenders for loans at a high rate of interest The company identified that the fertile fields of Bengal were much favorable for growing the commercial crops like cotton jute and indigo These were the major raw materials for the industries in England Consequently, they decided to expand its cultivation and forced the farmers to do so. The fields that were used only for the cultivation of food crops changed into the plantations of cotton, jute, and indigo. 
As a result, farmers became landless and were forced to become laborers. Next, we will discuss about the exploitation against the tribals. Do you know who are tribals? Tribals are the people who live in the forest and their livelihood depend mainly on traditional farming and forest products. The intrusion of the company was not limited to the agriculture sector. They framed several laws to exploit the forest resources. These laws gave the company absolute control over the forest. This disturbed the collection of forest products and adversely affected the tribal's traditional farming. The tribal habitat was rich in mineral deposits and to exploit these the british constructed roads and railways to these regions these measures intensified the mysteries of the tribals next we will discuss the exploitation against the weavers the cotton cultivation became widespread in india during the company rule however the handloom industry in india declined Let's check the reason for it. The large scale export of cotton, the raw material of handloom industry to Britain. The large scale import of cheaper textiles manufactured in the British factories. Excessive tax were levied on clothes made in India. These factors rendered thousands of indian weavers jobless so students you have identified the major occupational groups who lost their livelihood as a result of the company rule haven't you yes so students today we discussed about the exploitation of english east india company against the farmers the tribals and the weavers So students in the next class we will discuss about the rebellions by these people against the company and zamindars the middlemen of the company so that's all for today we'll meet you in the next class with the continuation of this chapter thank you